So it's real cold and it's raining and it's windy and stuff out, so I decided the next best thing to going for a walk is going for a drive. Someone kindly volunteered to drive me wherever I wanted to go in the whole wide world. And uh, whoop, someone was looking in a window. Something that's been kind of on my mind a lot lately is like quitting things. I've always felt bad about like giving up on something. What I was always told kind of growing up is like don't be a quitter or like always to see things through to like the very end. But I kind of think that was probably terrible advice growing up. Because if that's the way you go living your life, then you'll probably only do one or two things for a very long time, even if you don't enjoy them. Like if you're skydiving and you're kind of like, you know what, I just want to see it through to the end. That means you're not going to pull your parachute and you're going to die. So that's, you know, a bad choice seeing it through to the end there. That's not a good example. The way I feel about it is like sometimes the best way forward is to quit. Where are you going? I think I've been abducted. Like sometimes quitting might be the best way forward to do what you want to do in life. And that could mean dropping out of college or quitting your job or you know doing something like that. For example, a couple of years ago, I did this college course for a really long time. And one of my biggest regrets about it is not dropping out after the first year. And I didn't because everyone who gave me advice was like, well, you don't want to be a quitter, do you? Or, you know, you should just, you know, stick it out, see it through to the end. And I don't think that was good advice for the situation I was in. Bogging up my car, man. It just kind of wasted time. I could have spent doing something I enjoyed more or might have been of more use to me in the future. And that just kind of came down to me feeling like I didn't want to be a quitter. And that sucked. When you're looking at the bigger picture, you got to ask yourself, is what you're doing right now wasting your time? Like, could you be doing something better with your time that's going to pay off later? And I think another kind of valid reason for quitting something is that you've gotten too comfortable. Like, you're way too comfy and you're just kind of sitting in this one place and you're not going anywhere. Sometimes you just got to take out the trash. And sometimes you're the trash that needs to be taken out. No, that's not a good one either. And if you're in a situation where you're really unhappy and you're like 90% sure you're going to quit, before you do, try and take something constructive away. Like try and learn a lesson from it, like why you're quitting or why you didn't fit in that thing. Just, you know, it doesn't need to be an entire waste of time if you can figure out something you can take away from it. Okay, so conclusions. Sometimes quitting is the only way forward, and that's totally okay. If you're gonna quit, try do it for the right reasons, not because you're being a whiny little bitch. Come on, be honest. No offense or anything, just, you know, trying to emphasize my point. If you do end up quitting, don't regret it, or, you know, don't dwell on it if you think it's the wrong choice. Just kind of look at it like, okay, that's happened, you're in this situation now, and there's all kinds of different things that can happen for you. Some of them might even be good things. Uh, most of them are good things. I'm sure most of them are good things. I hope. If you're driving somewhere, and you take a wrong turn, and you're going down the wrong road, you're not going to keep driving down that wrong road just because you started going the wrong direction. Like, you're going to turn around and find the right direction to go. I think that was actually an okay metaphor. I think that one works. Also, car reference. We're in a car. Oh. Carception a little bit. Sorry I haven't been super active here on YouTube, but uh, I've been pretty busy lately. More busier than I've ever been before. But I've kind of worked everything out, so I should be way more free and there should be regular videos again from now on. If you did like this video, you can hit the like button down below. If you want to see more of my videos, you can hit the subscribe button. If you want to have the chats with me, you can follow me on Twitter or you can like my page on Facebook. So I think that's all for this video. Uh, we're about to hit another car full on, so thanks for watching, guys. And I'll, I'll cut to black and make all the crashing noises.